today's video where we're going to talk about the Cumberland Valley Rail Trail. Uh, this video is going to showcase the ride from the Shippensburg starting point to the Newville ending point. Uh, the trail goes in both directions, so you can start in Shippensburg or Newville. I would definitely recommend parking at Shippensburg University. There is much better parking available there than what you'll find at Newville. And the uh, parking is, in my opinion, a bit safer. Uh, the trail is about 10, 11 miles long. It has been recently extended. Um, it's going to eventually go from Newville to Carlisle, however, that is still a long way in the works. Uh, the trail is a bit narrow. You can definitely fit three or four people from left to right, but you do want to try to go single file if you see traffic coming from the opposing direction. Um, you're going to encounter things like dogs, horses, other bikers, runners, cyclists, and even people on elliptigos. Uh, so here's a video showcasing some of my experience from the ride. All right, we're out here on the rail trail. We're about four miles in, and this is my first bike ride in a couple months. I biked from about May to November pretty well, basically every day, if not every day, every other day. However, I picked up some part-time work through the winter and my biking took a back seat. So, I've biked, I think, twice this year it's currently march 20th or 21st and it's probably been a good three months since i've really been in shape so how does it feel when you're out of shape when you're used to being in shape well just to give you a quick rundown for the most part your legs feel good they know they have the ability to go harder but it's buddy the lungs and heart say otherwise so you get stuck in this tough mental conundrum you want to go faster because you know in the past you could go faster however if you try to go faster you will immediately feel it so for example Due to my lack of fitness at the moment, I can barely hold a conversation. The rule of thumb is you should go conversation pace. So what you have to deal with mentally is calm down, accept that you can't go faster at the present time and deal with it. Well, and that's the hard part. So, we're closing in about six miles into the ride. I'm going to spend the next couple miles calming down, find a nice rhythm, and hold that conversation pace. But before then, get a beautiful look at this view. wanted to share a fun little story from college so during one workout when I was a freshman the workout was to run point to point uh, basically to go to the end of the rail trail now the rail trail is in much better shape than what it was in 2005 uh, so where I'm coming up now is about where the trail ended it was a bit of a grassy jungly mess at that point but it was right around this bridge. Now, the whole point of doing a point-to-point -point run 
is someone supposed to get you at the end of that run? Being new to the area and having never seen the end of the rail trail before, I actually did not know where the trail ended. So I was running around and running and running and it was pouring down rain and I had no clue where to get my ride. So I eventually just stopped running because what else am I gonna do? And had to try to figure out how I'm gonna get home. Now, when you first join the Shippensburg University cross country team, the instructions you're provided when you get lost is to go to the closest water tower because essentially each town has a water tower in the area. And Shippensburg's water tower is actually pretty visible from even out near Chambersburg, which isn't that far away. Anywho, the trail didn't look like this. This building was here, this wasn't here. So I had to basically just stop and stand in the woods. And after a while, I heard someone yell at my college nickname, Futon. And out of the woodworks emerged Dan Helfrich, who then led me back to the car and got me home. <laughs> 